Hello there, Aries. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of February 8th through the 14th. What we have coming up, oh, by the way, there's one more mentoring session still coming up. That is Sunday, the 28th of February at 6.30 Mountain Time. You guys can do the research and figure out what time that would be for you. If you're interested in joining in on that, let me know. Uh, let's see. And if that time doesn't work for you and you want to be a part of a group mentoring session, then just check out my website for contact information. Drop me a line and we'll schedule one and make that one available for other people as well. Now, let's start with your cards, Aries. On Monday, what you have coming up is the Ten of Clubs. And the Ten of Clubs is telling me that on Monday you are picking up some kind of new responsibility. This could be that you're beginning a new job. This could be that you are promoted in the job that you have. This could be that at the job that you have, they put a new responsibility on you that maybe doesn't actually pay more, but it gives you an opportunity to shine more so that um, the next time you have an evaluation, you can say, hey, I didn't used to do this. Now I do. Now I do this. So maybe we can up the pay. <laughs> Just hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> but picking up some kind of new responsibility. Now this does not have to be work-related, Aries. For some of you, this could be a new responsibility at home. I do have this card show up a lot of times in relationship readings as well. And this talks about taking a relationship to the next level. So this could be somebody that you've been dating um, kind of more casually for a while and now the two of you agree to go exclusive or maybe you're moving in with somebody or something along those lines. I also consider that picking up new responsibilities uh, whenever you take a relationship to the next level and so it may be showing up for that for you as well. Now of course it's not going to be all these manifestations for every one of you. Some of you it's going to manifest one way, some the other. You may have a couple of you that have both of these uh, scenarios going on. Um, I do want to remind everybody though that this is a general reading so not everything is going to apply to every Aries um, but most of it will apply to most of you. <laughs> Okay, so you guys know what to do to get a specific reading. I'm not going to go into that. Um, let's see. On Tuesday, what you have coming up is you have the Seven of Clubs in reverse, Aries. Seven of Clubs in reverse is telling me that you had a situation. This could be at home or at work with friends, but you did have a situation where you had to stand up for yourself. You had to set some boundaries. You had to tell some people, you know what, I don't mind helping you, but I can't do everything for you. Here's, here's what I can do. Here's what I can't do. I feel like you've been very clear in that boundary setting. They should, if they were paying attention, they should have a very good idea of how far you're willing to go for them. Now, the time for talking about those boundaries is over. That's what this card is saying. This card is saying, okay, you've talked the talk. Now it's time to walk the walk. Now here's the trick with boundaries. Sometimes we get really amazingly incredibly lucky and we are dealing with people who have integrity and they respect our boundaries once we lay them out. More often than not though, if we have to lay out boundaries with somebody, that person probably has trouble with boundaries. <laughs> so chances are if you've laid out some boundaries, now on Tuesday you're starting to get some backlash. You're starting to get those people testing those boundaries. They're seeing, okay, are those walls really going to hold up or not? You know, she said she's not going to drive me to my meeting or not going to drive me to my whatever anymore. Um, but we'll see. Let's just, let's just see. I'm just going to tell her, oh, I've got a such and such at 3.30 and I need to, we probably need to leave the house at like 3.15 to be there on time. And let's just see what she says. You know, and I'm just using this as an example using she, but this could definitely be about male Aries too. You know, where somebody's giving you some backlash about some boundaries that you've set. So, you know, if somebody tries to casually just act like you never mentioned your boundaries, you're going to have to figure out, are you going to walk the walk? Or are you going to cave and let them roll all over you just like they have been doing? It's up to you. But this card is saying the time for talking about the boundaries is over. The time for explaining them is over. The time for saying, okay, I'll do this for you one last time. That's over. That's done. <laughs> Now it's time to walk the walk. What are you going to do? Are you cave and are you going to say are you going to cave and say, "You know what? My boundaries are really worthless and I don't think they're that important and so I'll just do whatever you ask me to do." Or are you going to say, "You know, sorry. 
we talked about this, you're going to have to find another ride. You're going to have to find someone else to do whatever this is. It's going to be up to you. And this is pivotal. This is crucial. How you handle somebody coming against your boundary once you've already set them up is crucial to how your relationship with that person is going to progress. Are you going to progress in a relationship with them where they take advantage of you? Or are you going to progress in a relationship with them where they learn to start to respect you? It's all up to you. And, you know, you can be kind and compassionate about maintaining those boundaries. You don't have to be mean about it. It may be very tempting to be mean about it. <laughs> I've told you <laughs> I'm not doing that. <coughs> um, but no. You can be compassionate. You can say, you know what, we've had this discussion and I just can't do this anymore. It's plain and simple. doesn't have to be a lot of drama. Okay, so that's Tuesday. Wednesday. Ten of Cups in reverse. I kind of feel like this is tied into Tuesday's thing. I feel like a lot of you are getting a lot of backlash for the boundaries that you've set. And I feel like on Wednesday, you've got a person that's around you that's really an important person to you that's sulking and throwing a fit. She doesn't do this for me anymore. He doesn't do this for any for me anymore. They must not love me. Blah, 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 blah. Everything that they can do to manipulate you back into doing whatever it is that they want done. That's what I feel like where this is coming from. Ten of Cups in reverse just says that there's not happiness. There's not happiness in the home and there's not happiness in your environment. So um, to me, I'm really feeling like for most of you, this is a situation where somebody's throwing a fit. Because you're actually standing up for yourself and you're actually taking care of yourself and they can't handle that. They're used to you taking care of them and not even bothering about yourself. Sorry, Charlie, you got to take care of you. I got to take care of me. So that's where that is coming from. Um, I just want to give you a little bit of encouragement that <laughs> um, this can seem like a really rocky phase when you're setting new boundaries and you're standing by them. And it can be really rough. Uh, but generally what happens is uh, the other person eventually figures out, wow, I guess he or she really meant what she said, and they start adapting, and then things start smoothing out. You just have to give it a little bit of time, though. Don't throw in the towel too early, because if you do, then every time you try to set boundaries from here on out, it's not going to work. So stick to your boundaries. Stick to your guns. Okay. Fourth card. This is Thursday. What we've got coming up here is the star card. This is telling me that you are starting to feel empowered um, on Thursday. You're starting to really feel like you're tapped into your true self. You're getting to do some of those things that you've really been wanting to do for a long time. You're starting to feel like you're catching up on things that maybe have fallen back to the back burner, especially if you were focusing on other people and now you're starting to focus on the things that you would like to focus on in your life. Um, this is a card where you just uh, just to put it really simply, you start to feel like yourself again. And that is so empowering when you start to feel like yourself again. You start to be in touch with your purpose. You start to be in touch with what you want to do, what you want to accomplish before you kick the bucket here. So um, very empowering card. Um, talks about finding balance again. And it talks about um, it really... <laughs> Being in this place where you're starting to find that balance again makes decision making much easier for you than it has been because you don't have that confusion that you used to have rolling around you. So now you've got this clarity and so it's easier to decide, how do I want to spend my time? Who do I want to spend it with? Where do I want to spend my time? What do I want to spend my time doing? What do I want to learn? What do I want to con contribute? Those types of things. So this card doesn't really say that life is any easier. It might be. It might not be, but this card does say that you're coming from a place of greater clarity where you are more in touch with yourself, your needs, and your desires, and that makes decision-making much more easy for you. It makes your path um, something that is much easier for you to see. This is a major arcana card. This is talking about a major shift for you. It's a good thing. Now, Friday. Look who's coming around. You've got the Two of Cups. Whoever was throwing that fit on Wednesday is starting to calm down. <laughs> Finally. 
um, things are going better in the relationship area. So um, for most of you, that is actually going to tie in with the person I sense was having a fit about boundaries. They're starting to get adjusted. They're starting to adapt. Um, for some of you, this is going to be um, a completely separate person, a completely separate situation where um, you just have a person that you are spending some really enjoyable time with. And this can be a romantic interest or a significant other or anything in between. Um, but this can also be um, with a friend or with a family member. But it just talks about having some really enjoyable moments together with somebody and um, really appreciating uh, being in each other's company. Really nice card. And by the way, I'm being prompted to tell you guys, you can be in somebody's company without physically being face to face. Um, being in somebody's company could even be um, like doing a video call like on Skype or Hangouts or whatever like that. Or even, um, I would, I'm would i saying even texting, although I feel like that's going to be extremely rare for, for those of you to actually have that manifest. But I do feel like this is going to be something um, that is either video or in person or maybe even on the phone um, for most of you. Where you have these pleasant and enjoyable moments and enjoy the other person's company. Now, let's move on to Saturday. Saturday, what you guys have coming up is you have the page of coins and reverse Aries. This just means you're getting some kind of message that is about money or material goods. And this is, when it's in reverse, it's not the message that you want to hear. So this could be um, an invoice coming in that's bigger than you thought it was going to be, or an invoice coming in for something you didn't realize you had to pay for. This could be... Um, well, my favorite example of this, you guys have probably heard me say it before, I had this card come up for a lady that her son had dumped his phone in the toilet by accident and she had to replace his cell phone. So money came out of her pocket. So this is just a message about money coming out of your pocket that you weren't uh, really planning on having come out of your pocket before this message came up. Uh, da -da -da, Sunday. Ten of Swords. Not in reverse. For some of you, this literally talks about a backache. That's the first way that it's coming in. So for some of you, we're looking at a backache here. For others of you, this is you having an idea about doing something or about a way to do something, and the people around you are just like shooting it down. Bam, 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 bam. Nobody agrees with you. Nobody wants to do this. And so this kind of puts things on hold. Um, I want to encourage you, when you have people that are trying to tell you how you should be doing things or what you should be doing, you want to really evaluate that. You want to evaluate the source. Where is this opinion coming from? Where is this information coming from? Is this from somebody who I am doing this thing with? that has an opinion about how we should do this? Is this coming from somebody who is actually affected by how I do this? Or is this just coming from somebody who is not affected at all by how I'm doing this really and really has no say so about it? And honestly, they're just sticking their nose in where they don't belong. Because um, as humans, we tend to care a lot about what other people think. And as humans, we run into a lot of people that have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> and it seems really interesting to me. Those people that don't have their lives going the way that they would like to have them, they have a lot of thoughts about other people's lives. And you got to think about, do I want my life to look like that person's life that is giving me this opinion? Is that my goal here? Because if that's the goal, yeah, you want to pay attention to that person. If they have what you want, sure, listen up, pay attention, see how they got there. If they don't have what you want and they're giving you an opinion on something you should do or some way you should be, why would you listen to that? Do you want to be like them? Why? So the advice on this card is be aware of, of where these opposing opinions or opposing stances are coming from. Be aware of what place those people who are giving those opinions or stances play in the situation that they're talking about. Be aware of how much weight you should really be giving to their opinions. 
Okay, and I think that really is the best advice I can give you that helps move forward with, because uh, I think the biggest hindrance for most of us as humans is trying to please other people when those other people have like no, no reason to be pleased in that situation. <laughs> it's none of their business, basically. So anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox now, Aries. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly forecast. Everybody have a fantastic week. Don't forget to check out my new monthlies if you haven't already seen them for February. Uh, let me know what you think of those. And everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see you back here next time. Peace out.